You ready? You ready? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side and on the other. Truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Keep that pressure high now. Right punches there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Try to establish that jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his oh! hurt very bad. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that dude. Oh, he heard him bad with the jab. Trying to establish that jab once again. There's the kick, it's blocked. <laughs> 30 seconds remain in the round. Big body kick. Just misses with the kick. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed. Scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponents not moving. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, good kicks. <laughs> Blocks the shot. Wow, huge head kick. Well, 
Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Just misses with the jab there. Ooh, what a punch. Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. Back to the jab now, no good. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Head kick. Straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. Third and final round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Powerful leg kick lands. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, no surprise as he connects once again. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Unable to connect with the right. So the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big and kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Goodness, what a fight. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. 